Hi, my name is Ang from Amazing Websites and welcome to this tutorial on how to manually back up your Joomla 3 website. You've probably spent a lot of time building your website, putting in the content and the pictures. And for safety reasons and for a number of other reasons, you want to do a backup of your website because if you do an upgrade of Joomla, if you install a new extension, or simply if you want to move your website to a different host, you need a backup. There are two parts to backing up your Joomla 3 website. The first is that you need to download all of your Joomla files. And the second part is that you need to make a backup of your database. So without further ado, let's get started. The first part that we're going to look at is how to download your Joomla 3 files. Downloading your files is pretty straightforward. If you have an FTP client, such as FileZilla, you can use that to navigate to your website and download all of the files. The only problem with using an FTP client is that there are thousands and thousands of Joomla files to move, and using an FTP client could take you some time to download all of your files. So let's try a different way, and this is one that I particularly like to use. The approach that I like to use is to use cPanel and to use the file manager to zip all of my files together, compress it, and then download that to my local computer. So let's try that now. Okay, I've logged into cPanel and by default, this is the page that I see. What you need to do is browse to files, file manager, and click on that folder. When your file manager opens, you want to click on public underscore HTML. And then what you want to do is select all of your Joomla files. If you're using a PC, click on shift and select all of your files and then click on the compress button. Under compress type, click on zip archive and click on compress files. And what that will do is create a file called administrator.zip. Okay, so all of my files have now been compressed. Click on close. And as you can see, there's my zip file. All of my folders and all of my files have been stored into this folder called administrator.zip and it's about 98.99 megabytes. So what I can do now is download this file. And I can do that by clicking on the download button. Save the file. And as you can see, Firefox is downloading my files. If you're using a different browser, you might be prompted to specify where you want to save the, fo the file to. That's the first part of our tutorial. Now for the second part of our tutorial, we need to back up our database. And to do that, we need to go back into cPanel. Before I go into cPanel, there are three things that I need in order to back up our database. The first thing is that I need my SQL database name, I need the username, and I need the password. You can find the information that you need by going into the configuration PHP file which sits within the root directory of your Joomla file. So if you click on configuration PHP and click on code editor, click on edit, and that will allow you to find what you need. So the first thing that we want to find is public dollar sign user. And that tells us the username for the database. So we write that down. The second thing that we need is public dollar sign password, which is the password for the database. And finally, the database name. So once we have all this information recorded somewhere, because we're going to need it in order to back up your Joomla database. So the next step is to close this and go ahead and open PHP my admin. So we'll do that now and we go to cPanel in order to access phpMyAdmin. You'll find phpMyAdmin under databases. Click on phpMyAdmin.
And now what I'm going to do is click on the database that I'm using. Click on the export tab. And just accept the default setting and click on go. And that will ask me to save the database as an SQL file to my desktop. So click on OK to save the database and that's saving to my desktop on my Firefox browser. Yours might have a different um, pop-up that says that asks you where to save your website. So on your desktop, this is what you should have in your uh, download folder. You've got your administrator.zip file, which is all of your Joomla files that have been compressed and downloaded. You've got your SQL file, which is just a backup of your database. From here, what you can do now is upload it to a new web host or just keep it as a backup. And we'll look at those steps in the next tutorial. Bye for now.